Hello there, my beautiful Virgo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Virgo, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well, so stay tuned for that. Now, as you can see, we have a change in scenery. I'm filming from my kitchen, and it's only because we've had an extreme heat wave here in BC. My studio is actually upstairs, and it's way too hot to film from upstairs, so we're in my kitchen today, everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. Now, the other thing is, um, those of you that are wanting to skip this part, I have left timestamps in the description box below, but I wanted to add more value to my reading. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to start every reading off with a beautiful passage. And I came across this book. It's called The Luminous Humanness. It's written by Kelly Sullivan Walden, and it has 365 passages in this book. So you know what? I feel that Sometimes it's nice to have a message before we start tarot readings or receive a message from the universe. So I'm going to go ahead and read you a passage from this book. They're not that big, the passages, okay? And they come with an affirmation. So I'm going to go ahead and find one here and read one to you. So let's start here with um, this one here. It's called Time for a Raise, Virgo. You are here on earth with the job of maximizing your gifts and making sure you shine as brightly as possible. Yes, you can support others and be of service. That's quite a high calling, isn't it? But you can't do the work for them. You can't do the work for them. It's time for a raise and the universe is advancing you up the ladder with a parade and a celebration from the high stress job of keeping the world spinning for so many people. It's now time to set up, which means stepping back and appreciating that your loved ones, especially the ones who seem the most helpless, are more resourceful than you imagined. Your new job description is to see your loved ones as whole and complete, plugged into their very own connection to God, good orderly direction, knowing that you are Sorry, knowing they are not dependent on you. Envision that you're now free to explore new dimensions of yourself as you turn up your vibration as you like. Isn't that beautiful? So time for a raise here, Virgo. The affirmation on this passage is, I am following my pleasure principle towards becoming the most luminous human I can be. Beautiful. I love this. I love this book. I love these messages and I love starting with a beautiful message before I start tarot readings. I usually do this in my meditation and I wanted to share this with you and I thought how can I add more value to my readings here? So I thought this would be a great way to start each tarot reading going forward. All right, my friends, let's pull some cards for you today. So we're getting the sun card. Look at this, Virgo. I feel that a lot of you have been on a roll lately. This is, there's been a lot of blessings, a lot of good things coming into your life. And it's because I feel that a lot of you are looking through a different lens, through a positive and growth mindset, an abundance mindset. And this is why things are lining up for a lot of you. This is why the vibrations are raising up. That frequency is high. So you're experiencing a lot of good things. And this is exactly what the sun card does. There's a lot of growth and expansion coming into your life, a lot of success coming in. Now, this is a major arcana card for you, so the energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are feeling this suddenly, or subtly, and some of you are feeling this intensely. Now, the other thing is Virgo. I always mention in my readings, try to interpret these cards with your own intuition here, my friends. Not only will you strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So we've got the sun card. We also have the Nine of Swords. So what is this for you, Virgo? It's a little bit of worry, anxiety, some things that's kind of whirling around in your mind. This could be fears, this could be lack of, whatever this is, this can't be good for you here, my friend. So this is where spirit guides want you to analyze these thoughts. What are these that are coming into your life right now that are kind of holding you back? Remember, the sun is shining on you. 
There's a lot of good that is all around you and they're wanting you to take a look at that and be in that space of positivity, especially those of you that are being kind of pulled towards that uh, energy of lack. I don't know why I'm getting lack here, but I feel like there's a lack of something in your life and you're wanting to create that and you're experiencing this uh, feeling of worry of stress or anxiety around this whatever this is and spirit guides really want you to analyze the space here for yourselves because i feel a lot of you when you worry it's at night when things quiet down and that's when you kind of get in your head and it's whirling around there's a lot of thought in your mind here at virgo so they're wanting you to release this energy because in a sense it's creating a block around you so let's pull another card and see what else we get the empress Wow, what a beautiful energy here. So they're wanting you to know it's time to create. You have the power. Very beautiful, very feminine energy. This is where that love, care, and attention needs to be put towards the things in your life that you want to see growth in. And because the sun is shining, you're going to experience a lot of growth really quickly here, my friends. Now, the other thing is, um, again, this is a major arcana card, Virgo. My goodness, there's a lot of change coming into your lives here, a change for the better. So I'm going to start here with the Nine of Swords because I feel that um, paying attention to this, being mindful of this and learning how to process this and let it go is going to benefit you in a very positive way. And yes, life happens. We go through things and we're meant to feel the emotions that we're feeling, right? So feel the emotions that you're feeling, whatever this is for you. Allow yourself to process those feelings and then release them. I feel there's almost been this like attachment of different things that have kind of been sitting there. Perhaps they're not there all the time. They kind of linger when something happens in your life. Maybe things aren't going as expected and then these thoughts rise up. And then you're kind of going in that downward spiral. This is where spirit guides want you to catch yourself when this happens. Catch yourself because you're in this high vibration right now. And this, whenever this comes up, this um, energy of the nine of swords, I, I feel that it kind of pulls you back down. This is where spirit guides want you to recognize this when it comes up because you're about to grow here, Virgo. And whatever this is, it could be fear, it could be lack of something, this could be doubts, this could be stories, narratives, things people are saying to you right now. Don't give that energy away to people or things that are being said to you right now. Okay, so spirit guides are showing me the strength card in my mind right now. So they're wanting you to tap into that inner strength and break free and push all those swords out of your life. You can even pluck them out one by one. You can write things down that are bothering you as well, Virgo. Whatever this is, there's very many of them. And if you take a look, they're all around her, almost creating this block so you can't get through. New energy can't get through. So we need to allow that energy to come through. So you have to work with yourself here, Virgo. Allow yourself to really see what these are. Sometimes these are shadows that rise up and we've got the full moon coming up here on August the 30th. We just had a full moon on August the 1st. We also have Mercury retrograde at play. So yes, these energies are around. Sometimes we have to protect ourselves from them, but we can't allow them to sit in our mind because the more thought, the more energy we give to that thought, the more life we give it. So then the more of that becomes our reality, right? So practicing that positive mindset, that growth and abundance mindset is going to help you in a big way here. And it does take a lot of practice. It does take consistency. It takes repetitiveness. Um, using those positive affirmations in our lives day to day, right? Um, it's like working out. If you want to keep that healthy body, you have to work out every day. The minute you stop, it goes back to being not healthy. That's the same way our mind works. You have to constantly work that mind out, Virgo. So allow yourself to feel the emotions of whatever it is that you're feeling. If this is something that is a shadow that's surfacing, rather than suppressing it, let's take a look at it. Let's analyze it for a little bit and see kind of where is this rooted? Why is this coming up? Let's write it all down as well. Getting that outside of yourself, that feeling, that thought that you're feeling, writing it on a sheet of paper, you're getting it outside of yourself. And this really lightens that weight um, that we feel with these thoughts, right? So if you're able to practice writing your thoughts down, especially when you're not in a good mood or feeling kind of down, 
Um, I'm not saying to suppress those feelings. I'm, I'm just wanting you to really look at them and write them down and have a journal for this, right? Where you have these thoughts and why do you have these thoughts? Where are they coming from? Where do they stem from? If we can get rid of the root of the problem, then we can actually move forward and get past these emotions. That's us processing them and then cutting that root as you releasing it. Right, And sometimes this takes a little bit of work, it takes time and energy to do this, but know that you are very strong here, Virgo, that you are someone that can get past this, whatever this is for you, okay? So, now let's look at the sun card, because the sun is shining on you. This is giving you energy here, Virgo, so some of you are already feeling this. Even though this happens, I feel for some of you, not everyone, that these are little, little things that can pop up in your life and you're very aware of them, you're very mindful of them and you know, kind of know how to tackle these down. But make sure that you are actually um, getting to the root of the problem rather than suppressing it, right? So the energy is there. Some of you are feeling that fire within you, right? You're kind of like, okay, I've got this energy. I really want to create something. I really want to do something. You're out there, you're, you're feeling healthy. I feel your physical body is feeling good right now as well because the sun is on you, shining on you. And that's sometimes when, you know, the sun shines on us, it casts shadows, those shadows come up and then we have to deal with them here. Um, I don't feel this is actually a, a negative thing. This is very minor for some of you. So the fact that you're able to deal with it and process it is going to help you grow, right? And you've got so much growth coming into your life here, Virgo. Oh my goodness, change for the better. This is you creating this change for yourself, by the way. It's such a beautiful feeling when we can actually co-create with the universe what it is that we desire through clarity. That clarity is there. Know, my friends, that you are diamonds. Okay, you're shining brightly right now and just illuminating light all over the place. I feel people are attracted you, to you and drawn to you at this time as well. So you're seeing a lot of eyes on you. And I feel that um, because of vibration, that frequency is really high. You're starting to notice a lot of incoming blessings, opportunities. You're also seeing signs uh, all around you through the universe. So this is animals like butterflies. You might be seeing dragonflies, frogs, insects, all sorts of things. Even music, lyrics that are resonating with you uh, a lot recently. There's something about the words and synchronicities, things that are lining up that you can't explain here, Virgo. I'm getting a Leo energy coming in as well. What is this Leo energy for some of you? Oh my gosh, and even a Gemini energy. So Leo, Gemini energy coming through. I don't know if this is people around you or if this is in your birth chart somewhere, Virgo, but I feel there's going to be a positive impact through these signs. Like there's something, I don't know if they're wanting you to embody, um, that energy of Gemini and Leo. Maybe this is the cusp, right, for some of you. Whatever this is, know there's a lot of beauty coming into your life. And I also feel that some of you are feeling really healthy. You've been working on your body, so you're feeling very attractive. You're feeling really good in your skin. And because of this, this is giving you confidence. So confidence to do things that perhaps you haven't done before. And sometimes, yes, we have that confidence. All of a sudden, this comes up. This is where you punch this in the face. Virgo, punch it in the face, be like, nope, I'm not letting this come in right now. I'm on, on a really good frequency and, and whatever this fear is, whatever this doubt is, we're not going to give it any thought. So let's just put this thing aside here and don't let that affect you. All right. So a lot of growth, a lot of expansion. I'm seeing like expansion and even the Empress card. This is creation fertility even. So some of you might be hearing news about pregnancy, whether it's in your own life or in someone else's life. So it's in the air, this loving, nurturing energy, the sun just beating down on you is such a beautiful feeling here, Virgo. And you know, if you're start, I feel there's a start of something like with both of these cards together, I do feel that some of you are about to start a project. Perhaps you are moving to a different country, a different place. Maybe you're going on vacation. Maybe you're going to meet somebody. I'm getting love coming in here as well and strengthening relationships that you currently have in your life. Really, um, the love energy is very high right now and I feel our world can use some love. So if you're feeling that love energy, it's time to express it outwardly without any kind of expectations or anything in a return, right? And through that love energy, through you expressing that outwardly, you're going to see a lot of that love coming back towards you here, Virgo. 
It's so beautiful. And look at this beautiful throne here. This queen is sitting here. This empress is sitting on her throne. She's in a place of calm, this place of just feeling really good, proud of herself. It's that loving, nurturing energy. And she's spreading this outwardly all around her to all the people in her um, in her city, just, just spreading it everywhere, just pushing it out as much as she can, right? That's kind of what I'm feeling. And I'm also getting this feeling of touching things that are going to turn to gold. I'm getting someone touching things and they're turning to gold. So I think uh, with this card, not only are you going to experience growth, but there's going to be a lot of success coming into your life with something that you are creating. Your life is going to change here in a big, big way. Maybe there's a child coming into your life. Maybe you're pregnant. You guys are expecting a baby here. Some of you Virgos. And this is going to change your life for the better, right? That joy and love that comes from that little child, right? That happiness, that excitement, you know, shifting things. I'm getting a shifting of things in your home, in your personal life, maybe in your work. So spirit guides are really wanting you to embody the Empress energy here. It's a very feminine, very caring, very just a wholehearted feeling of, you know, you expressing love and that that trueness of you into all the things that you are doing currently because this is where you're going to experience all of that growth and success is through you enjoying what you're doing and putting that love care and attention towards it right and it's so beautiful because i'm seeing new opportunities coming in for you as well like something new coming through where you're going to feel really good about this virgo it's such a beautiful energy and it's it's letting you know that through your hard work, through your efforts, you're going to really grow as a person, but also grow in as in, in value as well. I'm seeing you becoming invaluable. Whatever that means for you, Virgo, there's this like invaluable energy, like this priceless energy about you, it's something that you are doing. It's something that you're changing about yourself. It's coming to this beautiful place, this understanding, this knowing, this growth, spiritually even. This is kind of what's coming through this card. So own that power, Leo. It's just beautiful. It's so energetic. It's just so full of love. I'm just seeing this cup overflowing. So own this power. It's in you. Know that there's a lot of good things coming towards you. Abundance, blessings in all forms here, my friends. So I'm now going to pull a clarifier card for you as well today. Now this is the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. I have all of my decks listed in the description box below for you. If any of you are interested in any one of my decks, I have links to those uh, decks as well. So let's pull a card. I want you to sit with this one to really allow it to mull in your mind, allow it to percolate. So that way you receive your own message somewhere in your life that you might need to hear, right? Life source. When life comes to a standstill, turn inward and focus on joy and excitement. Your inner light keeps everything alive and moving. And I really feel this is your inner light shining. I really do. That's that diamond, that illumination that's happening through that diamond. And I feel it's spreading out everywhere. That's kind of what I was seeing. And this card is confirming that for me. So I'm going to read this to you again, Virgo. Life source. When life comes to a standstill, turn inward and focus on joy and excitement. Your inner light keeps everything alive and moving. So beautiful card, beautiful message. I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you. This is the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. So I'm excited to use this, uh, this deck for you today and pull a card from it. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook as well. So let's see what we get here for you today, Virgo. Oh my goodness, just beautiful things coming towards you. I'm just feeling this beautiful energy and I can't even explain it. It is so nice. It's the warmth of the sun that I'm feeling and also a cool breeze. That could be my fan, but it's, it's more internal, the feeling. All right, Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded at this time, Virgo. All right, stay rooted and grounded because whenever we are rooted and grounded, this is can't affect us because we're rooted and we're grounded in our energy earth guardian so let me read you the interpretation here from, from the guidebook earth guardian where are you here we are so the message of this card virgo is take time to connect deeply with the energy of the earth so that you can feel supported and make decisions based on strength and integrity 
The Earth Guardian represents the angels of the Earth who bring the medicine of feeling grounded and strong. They are the protectors of the land and the planet and can help you connect with your mission here and how you can support the evolution of the planet. The Earth Guardian on this card is a beautiful part angel, angel part elemental who is non-binary, showing that they are divine beings without a human gender. Their staff adorned with a dream catcher shows they have the capacity to help you ground your dreams into reality. The extended message of this card is, it's important for you to take a grounded approach to your current situation. If you are rushing ahead or making a decision based on your more fearful responses, you will miss out on the growth you deserve. Take some time to calm down and get grounded before proceeding further. Breathe, relax, and connect with your center. Then consider what to do. It's important to plant seeds that are growing to grow into something beautiful rather than turn into a weed you have to deal with. So look at that. Powerful message here for you, Virgo. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. So let's see what we get for you here, Virgo. We're starting here with number 33. I am expanding. So if any of you have seen 33 or threes in your life right now, know that you are expanding. Let me read you the message on this card. Any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. So look at that. What a beautiful message here. You are being heightened. Look at that. Or expanding. You are expanding. You know what? This card, uh, the sun and the empress is all about expansion. And this is exactly what is happening in your life. And this is the confirmation that you are receiving today. So this is your reading today, Virgo. If it resonates for you, please comment below. Hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day. And thank you so much for watching.